welcome to the kitchen. Now, this is something that I get asked for most regularly. It's how to make basic buttercream. Lots of people struggle with it, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's really easy. I'll tell you a few of my top tips along the way. So we need um, a kilo of icing sugar to 500 grams of block butter and our flavoring. The first thing to talk about is lumpy icing sugar. If you've got lumpy icing sugar, it can be really frustrating. It takes ages to sieve. So if you have a food processor, whack it in the food processor, give it a blitz and then sieve it. Top tip number one. I've got a brand here that never needs sieving. It's Silver Spoon, so if you can find that, great. Butter nuggets. You don't want any butter nuggets in your buttercream. And you get those if you put the butter in first and make it all smooth and creamy. So I've put about a fifth of my butter, my, my icing sugar in there and then I'm gonna put in my butter. Now this is the perfect um, softness. It's squidgeable, but not oily, okay? So it just needs to be that type of softness. So squidgeable, in we go. I'm using a stand mixer. You can do this by hand with a wooden spoon. If you're doing that, you just need to almost mash the wooden spoon into the icing sugar to start with and then you can whip it, otherwise it just goes everywhere. I've got one of these guards on my stand mixer, which means it's gonna protect the icing sugar from going poof in the air. If you haven't got that, you can use a damp tea towel over the top, but be careful it doesn't get stuck in your mixer. So let's go. First of all, just mix it on slow. So I'm gonna mix it on slow until it becomes all into one clonk and there's no powder in the bowl. And once that's happened, I'm gonna whack it up onto a high speed and make it really pale and creamy and fluffy. There we go, so, so you can see that's kind of nice and smooth and creamy. I need to get the rest of the icing sugar in there first. So I'm gonna do about half of it and then half of it again. So back on slow. At this point as well, you can add your flavouring. Um, if you're using something like a vanilla bean paste or perhaps a peppermint extract or an orange extract, nothing like a melted chocolate at this stage. So I'm using some vanilla bean paste in this. Um, I usually put vanilla in the base of all of my recipes. So I'm gonna get a nice slug of that in there. For a kilo and a half, I'd usually use about a tablespoon. But you can also use extract, it's up to you. So as you can see, that's already looking quite pale and smooth and creamy. So I've got the rest of the icing sugar going in. It's like a sort of smoke, isn't it? Like thriller. If it was Halloween, I'd do my moonwalk. Mix this on slow, and then it's time to whack it up on high speed. Right, top tip number three. This is what I've been doing for a long time. Now this is gonna make your buttercream be a lovely palatable consistency for filling your cakes but also it lightens it it makes it more fluffy and weirdly I don't know the science it makes it a bit whiter so that's always um, nice people always ask, say how do you get this cream so white and creamy well this is it I've boiled a kettle just before I started so it's really hot um, now you want to take care especially if you don't have a guard so I'm gonna add a trickle of boiled water into my buttercream on slow. Doing it on slow start, to start with, because if it's on fast, you'll be like splashing yourself with boiling water and that's not good. So I'm just gonna do it on slow. And I usually go for about a tablespoon at a time. It depends on the weather. If it's really summery, you might not need as much. Um, I don't want it to be runny, I just want it to be soft. So in goes the boiled water. Just trickle it in and you'll see it will look a bit wet and kind of like a bit runny. Once that's incorporated, whack up the speed. Okay, it's really, really, really fluffy and white. And it's still quite stiff. Now everyone likes a different consistency for filling a cake. I actually like mine really, really soft. So I will actually put more boiled water in here and just keep adding it until you can feel that it's a nice spreadable consistency but still holds its shape. So I'm gonna put a bit more in. Slow. Well done, my friend. And I always say thank, thank you to my mixer after it's mixed. Oh, right, okay, so there we go, look at it. So really lovely, 
look white, it's a soft peak that's nice and floppy, it's nice to spread, super white and fluffy. So my last tip is you don't want to have any bubbles in your buttercream so it's kind of airy and moussey. So to get the bubbles out before you put it on your cake or piping bag, just put it back on slow. It's just to beat for an, sort of 30 seconds or so on slow speed because that's going to expel loads of the excess air bubbles. And there you have it. Perfect basic buttercream. Now you can flavour it with anything you want. You might want to add coffee to it, cream cheese, fruit purees, melted chocolate, just whatever you want you can do. And I've got tons more recipes on my YouTube channel using this um, basic buttercream. So happy baking everyone. Go forth and buttercream.